Suppose now I repeated this experiment at 60 degrees. What will change? What will change? Will OS change? No, because the sine of 120 degrees is the same as the sine of 60 degrees. You have two alpha here. The sine of 60 is the same as the sine of 120. If you allow for an uncertainty of one degree on either side, you will find exactly these same numbers because of the symmetry of the sine curve. So again, you're off by two percent. No difference. And so this prediction is unchanged. However, I want to ask you one question to see whether you are half alert or half asleep. At 30 degrees, you saw this. At 60 degrees, giving it the same initial speed, you will see this. It will have to hit here within the uncertainty of our measurements at the same location. It will, of course, of course go much higher. You can calculate that because you will have to use this for the equation for the height. And that goes with the sine of alpha. The sine of alpha for 60 degrees is way higher than 30 degrees. But now comes a question, will this trajectory take longer than this one or will they take the same amount of time? Who is for the same amount of time? Who is for longer? Who is for shorter? I'm happy with one set of fingers and unhappy with another set of fingers. What is the horizontal velocity of the golf ball when it takes off? If the velocity is the same in both cases, can't you see that this horizontal component is way larger than this horizontal component? And if they travel the same distance, then this trip must take longer. Because it's the horizontal component in the x-direction that determines how long it will take to go from here to there. 